Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to discuss which is the best Swiss Army knife pocket carry for camping. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. Thanks. So I was thinking, if you were to go camping, what would be the best Swiss Army knife to carry in your pocket? Now the way I see it, I see this as a secondary knife that I want to carry. I probably have a larger fixed blade or a larger folder, but I definitely want something that's in my pocket and not on a belt because maybe I might be taking out my belt at some point, but I always want something with me in my pocket. And that's my consideration for this video. Now camping is also a very wide term. Depending where you're in the world, you might be doing different activities when you are camping. So let me put into context what I would do when I'm camping. First, I will not fish simply because the places I go to uh, don't really have fishing and that's not my thing. So if you go fishing, for example, you might get the angler because that might make sense for you. And you definitely also, I think, want a pair of scissors if you want to cut line. So no fishing first. So if you go camping and you only fish, then maybe this video is not too applicable for you. When I go camping, the activities that I engage in would be things like woodcraft, fire making, uh, wood processing maybe, general camp tasks, cutting of cordage, definitely opening of packages if we're cooking and having food, and general utility tasks that you need with a knife and some tools in the multi-tool. So that's uh, my context in terms of when I'm going camping. So with that context in mind, these are the three knives I think would be best for pocket carry. Now, unfortunately, as of this video, two are actually discontinued although you should be able to find them on the secondary market, but at a premium price. But I'll still go through them for the sake of completeness because I think these are quite ideal pocket carries. Now, the first one is the smallest. It's the 84 millimeter. Now, this is known as the Lumberjack and the Walker. And the Walker. So the Lumberjack comes with the nylon scales, which is this. So this is actually the Lumberjack. Then I was discontinued and reissued as the walker. And the walker has the Celador scales, which is the classic shiny scales that you know Swiss Army knives for. But this basically is the same thing, the lumberjack or the walker, because it comes with the main blade, which of course uh, all Swiss Army knives would come with. And it comes with the combo tool, which is a cap lifter, can opener, screwdriver, and wire stripper all in one tool and it has the very important feature and to me i think this is the common feature i have with all the knives that i've chosen and that's a saw for wood processing or maybe uh, creating notches or sawing through small branches and of course there are scale tools that you have inside here uh, it comes with the toothpick and the tweezers now personally for me this is a great lightweight option you can put it in your pocket and you can forget about it this is actually my recommendation for hiking uh, as a secondary folder in the pocket. But it is a bit small at 84 millimeters if you're going camping with the express purpose of engaging in different activities where you need a pocket knife. Personally, I find this a little small, but if you have small hands, maybe you're a lady or you have a child, uh, this might actually fit very well in that case. The second is the aptly named camper. So this is still available and it's essentially a very classic setup uh, with the main blade, of course, and then you have that two standard uh, flathead screwdrivers at the top here and then cap lifter uh, with the Y stripper combination and the can opener here. So it's very standard with the uh, large blade. And then on this side, you have a small pen blade or a secondary blade. And you have, of course, as I mentioned, uh, let's look for it. That's right, and this is the saw. And now, this is a 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife, so it is longer, it's slightly larger, so the tools are bigger, in this case, the saw is larger and longer as well. There are scale tools, but this one also has back tools. There is the corkscrew, and also there is an awl over here, uh, which uh, can be used to punch holes into leather, canvas, or even wood, and you can actually widen or drill holes into wood. So for outdoor use for camping, I think this is an kind of an excellent setup. I do like the addition of the awl and the corkscrew. 
uh, and of course the basic function in terms of the knife, the cap lifter can opener and the saw. So that's my second option and finally if you really want a larger knife uh, then this is the one-handed Forester. Now the Forester is still available uh, in various forms but this one-handed version is not and I must mention this is actually a kind of a custom version but let me just talk about the basic Forester. So the basic Forester does not have this one hand open uh, grip. You have normal scales, so normally red or black on either side, uh, and you have a straight blade. Now with this one handed version, it comes with these red and black nylon scales with these rubber grips, and uh, it has a one handed opening and of course that straight blade as I mentioned. And uh, also it comes with a liner lock. So unlike the smaller ones which are slip joints uh, that have no locking mechanism, this has a liner lock which allows you to push that to the side and close the blade. Now it also has the standard two tools of that cap lifter and can opener, but of course larger. And of course there is that saw. A nice large saw as well because this is a 111 millimeter knife. Now you might notice the scales here for me uh, are different, it's black and the reason I had that is I took it from another knife uh, so that I could put in uh, the scale to which I'll talk about in just a bit. So this isn't really available now but let me uh, show you the close cousin or maybe the brother to it and that is the one-handed tracker or trail master. So for different markets it's called different things, either the tracker or the trail master but take note that is the normal one without the spidey hole so you this is specifically the one-handed one but take note as well the blade is a combo serrated blade uh, and straight edge blade with a chisel grind so it is different from this straight edge blade over here which is not a chisel grind so uh, that's something to take note of. The other major difference is it's the inline Phillips head screwdriver instead of the corkscrew. Now personally for me, I think in an outdoor camping situation, the corkscrew is more useful than the Phillips head screwdriver unless you're specific gear where you need uh, to use a Phillips head screwdriver because the corkscrew can actually be used for several things you can use it of course to open wine which is uh, the main thing that was designed for uh, but you can also use it to drill into wood so you can drill it into wood and you can lift up logs to carry around uh, you can also use it to undo knots so generally it's more multi-purpose than the Phillips head screwdriver. But as of now, besides the Forester, which uh, doesn't have the uh, one-handed opener, so it's just a standard blade, uh, you can get the Forester with scales as well. That means you can have the uh, toothpick and the tweezers inside, but you can't get that one-handed opener. I'm just not sure why they don't have this combination anymore because I think it's, it's really good. But take note, of course, if you get this specific one, uh, these nylon scales do not come with scale tools. So again, uh, if you wanted to, you could, of course, switch these over. I preserve because I like that look but I do have the tool over here. And again, as I said, I'll talk more about it uh, in just a bit. So just think if you can't find the Forester, then you can get this Trail Master or Trekker as the alternative. So which of these three do I think uh, is the best? I guess for camping, I won't take the Hiker because it's missing that uh, corkscrew. And I think if I'm going to be using it a lot, um, I want a slightly larger knife. This, I, as I said, I think is great as a backup knife or secondary photo for hiking, where you your intention may not to always be use your knife, but the knife is there in case you need it. So I'm going to put this aside because when you go, I go camping, I know I'll definitely be using uh, the knife. Now, one thing I'll talk about now is the tools. Why I do like that corkscrew and having a scale tool specifically for the toothpick. The two reasons, and that's for fire starting capabilities. So you can get this tinder um, third-party tool from a company called tortoise and this is actually a fire starting tinder material which you can put over here so you can break it up fluff it up and you can take a ferro rod to it but this as you can see it's a great way to hold it in a package now of course if you're going camping and you're going to be starting a lot of fires you may not use this all this time so this is kind of a backup or if you happen to be away from your main gear and you really want to start a fire then you have that with you of course you need a ferro rod 
and that's where another third party too comes in and that's also from that tortoise company and they call this the firefly it's a ferro rod so it's a small ferro rod that you can put in the scale tool hole that holds the toothpick so it goes in there so when you have a combination like this regardless of either knife because that's why i changed the scales right in order to uh, put in that ferro rod you now have a very complete package which i think is great for uh, camping uh, because you have the fire starting capabilities you've got the saw for wood press processing and all the basic tools that you need so between these two i personally would actually pocket carry this because it is smaller uh, this i would find pretty big in my pocket i think but i do think personally almost as a primary knife i think this is actually good and i recommend this for bushcraft and for survival i actually have a whole tricked out version uh, with the fire tinder with the ferro rod as well as uh, some other survival items over here now, i won't go through it here but uh, i actually have done a video on this you can check out the link in the card above or the description below so for size alone and because i see this as a secondary pocket carry at least in the purpose of this discussion and uh, my approach for this particular knife i would say the winner is the camper i can get it easily now i can find the third party accessory tools and i've got a knife which i can carry in my pocket that will fit me for my camping trips so just to end off let's talk about the prices of these different knives if you're trying to get the lumberjack or walker now the original price was 25 us dollars but both are now discontinued the walker was just discontinued as of this year 2023 so original price 25 dollars but now i see it going for about 50 dollars so if you can grab one and you find one uh, i think you should grab one even if you don't intend to use it right now the camper 42 US dollars, so it is uh, slightly more expensive. Well, if you talk about the secondary market, it's actually cheaper now, uh, but you get a bigger knife and uh, you get, of course, that corkscrew. For this one hand Forester, the original price was 70 US dollars. I managed to get it for slightly less when I did get it, but it's discontinued. It's quite hard to find now. If you do find it, I've seen it go up as much as 150 US dollars. So I think that's uh, insane. So this choice might be actually a better alternative if you really do want a 111 millimeter knife uh, but take note again it is a combo saw or sorry combo serrated blade and straight edge and that inline phillips head screwdriver the price of the one-handed tracker or trail master is 75 us dollars listed price now if you're in singapore uh, this is actually a uh, military issue. So it's a Singapore Armed Forces standard military issue. I think they must have done some kind of commission batch sort of deal uh, because we can get it here for less than half the price, US $35 or so, and we can get the one-handed uh, trail masters as it's called here. So those are the different prices. So based on the things I've talked about and the price point, I'd still say the winner would be the Victorinox camper but let me know your thoughts what do you think is the best swiss army knife uh, for you when you go camping i know a lot of people will talk about the huntsman which is basically the camper but with another layer for the scissors personally when i do a pocket carry i do not like and i do not want to carry anything more than three layers so that's why i will not choose the huntsman's but i'm sure many of you will or you choose its brother the field master which instead of the corkscrew has that phillips head screwdriver but let me know if you've got any other choices for a swiss army knife pocket carry for camping i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the content in general please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell thanks for watching Talk to you soon.